Do you want to know how to mess up your rest day nutrition? Yeah, you heard James right. We are going to be covering all the things that could possibly go wrong in a race so that you don't have to make the same mistakes yourself. Your race day preparation starts months before your event and it doesn't end until the gun goes off. Choosing the right food the night before your race is extremely important. So you want something that is high in carbohydrates, easy on the stomach and very easy to digest. So avoiding anything that's kind of oily or spicy. I think you get the idea with this one. So it's best to book into an Italian the night before and save that dirty curry for your post-race treat. We know dehydration can massively affect your performance, but it doesn't end there. Having too much water or too much sodium or too little sodium can all drastically affect your performance. Make sure you know what your body requires and you stick to it on race day. That means before your event and the lead up to it, and also, of course, during the event itself. Start sipping a bottle from the, when you first wake up in the morning and keep your hydration and nutrition going all the way through the day. It's easy to get carried away on race day. You've got adrenaline pumping, athletes all around you, and you can forget to eat. You might think you're invincible and it doesn't really matter. You ate last night, so you'll be fine. However, in order to perform at your best, if you're exercising for more than 90 minutes, you do need to consume some calories in order to avoid that dreaded bonk. You do need to be careful though, because if you overdo it and eat too much, that can have equally detrimental effects. So if you've trained your stomach, you want to be aiming to take around 60 to 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour. And if you do need a reminder to make sure that you don't forget, you can set an alarm on your phone to say, take a gel every 20 or 30 minutes. Whatever you do, make sure you practice with the nutrition you plan to use on race day. Now, ideally you take your own and that way you know exactly what you're consuming, but if you do decide to use what's available on the course, make sure you know exactly what that is and you've practiced with it beforehand. You don't wanna give your taste buds or your stomach any more shocks and stress than it needs on race day. your own nutrition with you through the race is the best fail-safe plan for perfect fueling unless obviously you lose it all at the start now we're referring to the bike leg as this is obviously the period which is the longest and therefore that you'll be needing to take on the most amount of nutrition so you want to make sure that all of your nutrition is attached securely to your bike and you've practiced with this setup so you know you can take that nutrition out you can use it put it away again so it might even be worth investing in some tighter bottle cages obviously making sure you can get that drink or your nutrition out but being able to put it away again and that you've practiced on the type of roads that you're riding on there's nothing worse than going over a pothole losing all of your nutrition at the beginning of the race and then you're going to be a little bit stuck. Well, that's all the mistakes we can think of. If there's a mistake you've made that we've missed, leave it in the comment section down below. We'd love to learn what you've done wrong and maybe prevent someone else from doing the same mistake. Yeah, equally, if you've done any of those that we've talked about, do let us know. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Give us a like and click on that globe so you don't miss any GTM videos.